this is Manuel Antonio Beach in the small village of Manuel Antonio. I didn't even know that this village existed. I was just kind of Googling where to go. I was in Hueco. It was uh, not really for me, not really my scene. The beach was beautiful, but it was too busy, too touristy and too expensive. So I was trying to Google where could I go south because I knew um, Dominico and Uvita are on my list. Um, I didn't know about uh, I didn't know about Manuel Antonio. And then I came across it over a few Google searches of the South Pacific in um, Costa Rica, and it brought to it brought me to to Manuel Antonio National Park. So that sounded really awesome, and I've been trying to go there for the past three days now, and it just hasn't been working out. Monday it was closed, Tuesday it was just a wash, it rained all day, and today was a travel day to this awesome little village that uh, I've discovered yesterday on my bus ride to Manuel Antonio Park. So today I woke up and I was thinking about going straight to Dominico. I was in Cuepos for three days and there wasn't a whole lot going on there. Uh, it was a cute little town, not much to do, and there was just so much rain that I was just in the hostel most of the time there, which makes for super long days. Yesterday morning I did take the uh, public bus to Manuel Antonio to the park entrance. Um, and during that bus ride I actually discovered Manuel Antonio Village. I didn't know that place existed and it's amazing. So I hopped on the bus this morning after I checked out of the Widemouth Frog and I took the bus here. Manuel Antonio is only about three or four miles south of Cuepos, right on the ocean. And the beach here is one of, if not the most beautiful beaches that I've been to so far in Costa Rica. It's absolutely breathtaking. The sand is soft and the beach goes on for a mile or so in each direction from where I'm standing right now. I'm staying at a place called Torino Backpacker Hostel. I've got a four bed dorm room. Uh, they're not bunk bags, they're actually double beds. So I get my own bed, which is nice. And the cost of that was $15 US per night. So that's pretty cheap coming to southern Costa Rica. Even Cuepos was a lot more expensive than that. And once you get closer to the park entrance, the cost of those hotels go up. A private room just isn't an option. They're well over $40 a night. So $15 for a four bed dorm, pretty awesome deal. So I'm gonna stay here for a few days. And while I'm here today and the sun is out, we haven't had a whole lot of sun since I've been on this side of Costa Rica from the Central Pacific down to where I am right now. We've had a lot of rain. We'll get a little bit of sun in the morning, but while the sun is out now, I want to give you guys an epic adventure of this incredible beach, Manuel Antonio. scary just happened to me. <clears throat> I was out on the beach flying the drone around getting some footage and uh, the battery warning came on that the battery was low. So I was about 3,500 feet out into the ocean taking pictures of these rocks. So I turned it around and started flying back toward the beach and the GPS that was on my phone telling me where the plane was didn't add up to where the plane actually was. So I thought I had lots of room away from the trees. Just to go back a second, the trees go right down close to the beach. The tide is out a bit right now, so it looks like there's a lot of beach. But when that tide comes in, I don't feel like there'll be as much beach, maybe about half of what's there now. Anyway, the drone started coming back and I couldn't see it. I was about 300 feet up in the air. And according to the GPS coordinates on my phone, I was about 600 feet away from the landing point, which made me believe I was still out in the water. So I started bringing it down so that I could get a line of sight of it. And before I knew it, it had landed in the trees. 
So the GPS coordinates that were on the phone were absolutely wrong. Um, from what it was telling me, it was still out in the ocean um, about 100 feet or so up, but in reality it was behind me in the jungle um, caught in a tree. So I started freaking out thinking, oh great, I have to come to terms that I've lost this drone because I had no idea where it was. And then I saw a fellow come walking up to, toward me and he said that he had found it. So I was so thankful to him and his friend. His one friend climbed a tree and was able to shake the branch and the drone fell out. I was so thankful to them for their help for locating the drone and for actually getting it for me. So I've got the drone back in hand and I can't wait to see the footage that's on it. This beach is absolutely incredible. That wraps up this quick beach tour of Emanuel Antonio Beach. It sure is an amazing place here on the southern Pacific coast of Costa Rica. And I just happened to stumble upon it, had no idea it was even here. I sure am glad that I jumped on that bus and checked out where the national park was because I wouldn't have found this beach if I hadn't. So I'm here for three more days. There's going to be a lot more videos to come from Manuel Antonio, so stay tuned for that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please take a second and hit that subscribe button i really do appreciate all your support for everybody who has subscribed and for everybody who is following me and until next time i'll see you guys at the next video